A dark room is a room that can be made completely dark to allow the processing of light-sensitive photographic materials, including photographic film and photographic paper. Dark rooms have been created and used since the inception of photography in the early 19th century. Dark rooms have many various manifestations, from the elaborate space used by Ansel Adams to a retooled ambulance wagon used by Timothy H. O'Sullivan. From the initial development to the creation of prints, the dark room process allows complete control over the medium. Due to the popularity of color photography and complexity of processing color film and printing color photographs and also to the rise, first of Polaroid technology and later digital photography, dark rooms are decreasing in popularity, though are still commonplace on college campuses, schools and in the studios of many professional photographers. Other applications of dark rooms include the use in non-destructive testing, such as magnetic particle inspection. Dark room equipment. In most dark rooms, and in larger, an optical apparatus similar to a slide projector, that projects the image of a negative onto a base, finely controls the focus, intensity and duration of light, is used for print making. A sheet of photographic paper is exposed to the enlarged image from the negative. When making black and white prints, a safe light is commonly used to illuminate the work area. Since the majority of black and white papers are sensitive to only blue, or to blue and green light, a red or amber colored light can be safely used without exposing the paper. Color print paper, being sensitive to all parts of the visible spectrum, must be kept in complete darkness until the prints are properly fixed. Another use for a dark room is to load film in and out of cameras, development spools, or film holders, which requires complete darkness. Lacking a dark room, a photographer can make use of a changing bag, which is a small bag with sleeved arm holes specially designed to be completely light proof and used to prepare film prior to exposure or developing. Print processing. During exposure, values in the image can be adjusted, most often by dodging, and or burning. Filters, usually thin pieces of colored plastic, can be used to increase or decrease an image's contrast. After exposure, the photographic printing paper is ready to be processed. Photographers generally begin printing a roll of film by making a contact print of their negatives to use as a quick reference to decide which images to enlarge. Some large format photographers, such as Edward Weston, make only contact prints of their large negatives. The paper that has been exposed is processed, first by immersion in a photographic developer, halting development with a stop bath, and fixing in a photographic fixer. The print is then washed to remove the processing chemicals and dried. There are a variety of other, additional steps a photographer may take, such as toning. See also, digital darkroom, list of photographic processes, photographic plate, photographic studio, references. External links, black and white darkroom resource center, darkroom safety, darkroom discussion, a collection of chemical recipes for the darkroom.